Today we are in the Rovelli and we'll show you some great highlights of the industrial culture around Dortmund. Impressive industrial monuments, modern exhibitions, interesting museums. Once dominated by coal and steel, the Ruhr area is now a cultural region. Europe's largest slag heap landscape is located in the Ruhr area and this is our first stop on our journey through the industrial culture. The landscape park Ruhrwart equates to about 240 soccer fields in size. It's really huge. And today we are a bit lazy, so we do something special. And that is riding a Segway. But first there is a short introduction to the riding technique. And here we go. The segways are controlled intuitively by balance and do not require any particular physical effort. You can find out how to book this tour in the video description below. And when you reach the top, this view awaits you. The Horizon Observatory was built in 2008. After two hours we are back and ready for the next adventure. The Zollern coal mine is considered one of the most beautiful testimonies to Germany's industrial past. When you look here the site reminds us more of a rich estate than a coal mine. Let's have a look into the machine hall. The machine hall with its impressive Art Nouveau portal was the first industrial building in Germany to be listed as a historical monument in 1969. Touching is permitted here. Oh my god, I couldn't wear this the whole day for work. In this exhibition, it's a permanent one, you learn a lot about working in a coal mine. This place used to be the mine's horse stable, today it's a restaurant and we'll try now the typical Dortmunder Rostbraten. Mmm, hearty and delicious. The next stop is the Das exhibition. DASA is Germany's biggest working world exhibition. It's an interactive experience place where you have many opportunities to experiment. The exhibition approaches the relationship between man, technology and work. The permanent exhibition focuses on topics such as industrialization, safety and factory work. At the same time, modern working environments and aspects of digitalization are also addressed. Now we are in Unna and in the underground we will find the world's first and only museum that focuses on a presentation of light art and now we are leaving the bright day and plunge into darkness. The permanent exhibition presents 17 artworks. Some of the light artists have developed their installations especially for the respective exhibition rooms, thus creating a total work of art consisting of light and space. We are at the Hansa Kokri to learn more about the Ruhrvalley's industrial past. Until the 1990s the streets, towers and halls were covered in tar fumes and coal dust. Ja, was ist das Besondere hier an der Kokerei? Na, ja, wir haben ja einerseits eine Anlage, die von 1928 ursprünglich ist, also eine Ur im Verhältnis eine relativ alte Anlage, schön gepaart mit ein bisschen, bisschen Natur, die mit reingespielt hat. Coke was produced here from the coal of the neighboring collieries, which in turn was used for iron production. From Dortmund Main Station you can reach everything you see in this video today. If you're traveling for a whole weekend, we recommend you the ticket 48 hours for Zone B. In Dortmund we booked a central accommodation, the B&B Hotel. It's just 5 minutes from the main station. Tschüss Ruhr Valley! For more highlights of the industrial culture in the Ruhr Valley, you can just click on the next video.